Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you who are connected from around the world. I am very pleased to welcome you to this Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructures, CPMI, webinar discussing fast payment systems interlinking. The world needs a better cross-border payment network. This is a point I made strongly in a recent Financial Times op-ed. We have seen remarkable growth in cross-border payments in recent decades. The drivers are multiple, regional integration, innovative business models and technologies, globalization of trade and capital, and international travel and movement of people. What we have not seen are substantial improvements in cross-border payments. Enhancements have been incremental for most, leaving many behind, including most disadvantaged segments of populations. The shortcomings of cross-border payments hinder integration and economic growth. The intricate and costly nature of these transactions discourages small and medium-sized enterprises from expanding their operations across borders. Solutions from unregulated or unauthorized service providers try to fill this gap, but they far too often overpromise, underdeliver, and come with significant own challenges. For example, unbacked crypto assets are intrinsically volatile and akin to gambling. None of the so-called stable coins have been able to maintain parity with their peg at all times. And closed loop solutions, even if properly regulated, are no panacea either. Each of them forms their own wallet garden and tries to lock in payers and payees. This can lead to fragmentation of systems and high concentration of market power in specific areas. G20 leaders therefore rightly made enhancing cross-border payments a priority four years ago and have kept it near the top of their agenda. The CPMI has done a substantial amount of work these last few years. 2023 marked an important inflection point for the G20 cross-border payments program. The work moved from stock taking and ground clearing to building the road through the implementation of concrete actions. We should seek to prioritize, streamline and deliver. We should carefully focus our time on projects that are likely to have a meaningful impact on cross-border payment efficiency, such as interlinking of fast payment systems. Fast payment systems are already a reality in many countries. Thus, I believe that establishing links between these systems is one of the most promising solutions for enhancing cross-border payments. We now have more than 70 domestic fast payment systems around the world and plans for at least 20 others to be implemented in the next few years. By linking them, the benefits of digitalization would extend more fully through to cross-border payments. The topic of today's webinar is very relevant to this goal. It is also one of the priorities of the CPMI as well as the Brazilian G20 presidency. Agreeing on workable governance and oversight arrangements can be especially challenging due to the multi-jurisdictional, cross-border and cross-currency nature of these arrangements. But the benefits are clear. Workable governance and oversight frameworks could foster the establishment of sound and efficient fast payment systems interlinking arrangements across a large number of jurisdictions. The CPMI's initial considerations on governance and oversight of fast payment system interlinking are the starting point for today's discussion. We are seeking your input on those also in writing by the end of December. The focus on governance and oversight is justified if, in fact, links between fast payment systems are established. Let me note the importance of all the FPS fast payment system operators at this webinar to start or increase their efforts to establish links for cross-border payments. We have the opportunity to make a significant impact on the welfare of people 
and especially the most vulnerable that rely on remittances as a source of income. Let us make the most of it.